Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will delve into various aspects of vocabulary, grammar, and idioms that are commonly used when discussing speech and communication. Whether you're an English language learner looking to expand your knowledge or a native speaker aiming to enhance your understanding, this video is designed to help you sharpen your linguistic skills. So let's get started. I came home from vacation recently, jet lagged, tired, after delayed flights and a lost bag, with my cranky preschooler and my husband trudging behind me, and I forgot the code to my front door. We've lived in this house for seven years. I'd put the code in the door hundreds of times before. And as I stood there staring at the keypad, I thought, oh boy, I'm finally losing my mind. So in this part, we have three vocabulary. One, jet lagged refers to the tiredness and disorientation that a person may experience after traveling across multiple time zones by air. Two, trudging is a verb that means to walk slowly and with effort, typically due to tiredness or heaviness. 3. Losing my mind, this is an idiomatic expression that means becoming mentally unstable or going crazy. In the passage, the speaker uses it figuratively to express their frustration and disbelief at forgetting something as simple as the code to their front door, which makes them question their mental state momentarily. Our brains have an incredible capacity to store memory, but not all of that information is accessible at once. An article in Scientific America estimates the human brain can store 2.5 million gigabytes of data. That's about 5,000 iPhones. But if you've ever forgotten a password before, you know that memory is not always easy to access. Because memory is not just one system. Those different systems have limits. And a number of factors in our daily lives can impact our memory efficiency. Here are a few examples of grammatical elements in the section. 1. Subject-verb agreement. Brains have plural subject and memory is singular subject. 2. Word order, but not all of that information is accessible at once, where the subject all of that information precedes the verb phrase is accessible at once. 3. Comparative form, that's about 5,000 iPhones. Comparing the brain's storage capacity to the equivalent amount of data storage in iPhones. There was a famous neuropsychology case study of a patient referred to as patient HM, who became like a real-life 10-second Tom after brain surgery to treat a seizure disorder. In terms of his seizures, the surgery was a success. They were less severe and less frequent. But after his surgery, HM became unable to consciously learn new things. For example, he worked with the same neuropsychologist for years. He never remembered meeting her, he'd introduce himself each time. And he never remembered doing the different tasks that she would bring to test his memory. But here's the interesting part. His performance got better on some of those tasks over time. He never remembered doing them, he always thought he was doing them for the first time, but his brain had learned the procedures without him being aware. Here's an explanation of the new vocabulary in the given section. One, neuropsychology. Neuropsychology is a branch of psychology that focuses on how the brain and the rest of the nervous system influence a person's cognition and behavior. Two, patient HM. Patient HM is a pseudonym given to an individual who was a subject of a famous neuropsychology case study. The actual identity of the patient was not disclosed for privacy reasons. 3. Seizure disorder. A seizure disorder, also known as epilepsy, is a neurological condition characterized by recurring seizures, which are abnormal electrical activities in the brain. 4. Consciously learn. To consciously learn means to acquire new knowledge or skills with awareness and intention. 5. Less severe and less frequent. This phrase describes the improvement in the severity and frequency of the patient's seizures after the surgery. Less severe means the seizures were not as intense or disruptive, and less frequent means they occurred less often. 6. Unable to consciously learn. 
This phrase indicates that patient HM was no longer capable of acquiring new information or skills with awareness and intention after the surgery. 7. Without him being aware. This phrase indicates that patient HM's brain had learned the procedures and improved his performance on the tasks without his conscious knowledge or awareness. In other words, he didn't remember doing the tasks or realizing that he was getting better at them.